I demand a second opinion. And I'll do three if I need to. Mind you, if this comes back as positive, I think we'll say it's a positive result. Which I'm not overly happy with, I tell you now. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Straight away. As it passes, that's stupidly quick. Fuck it. It looks like I've got COVID, boys and girls. Anyone who's been near me for the last week. Actually, I don't know whether I'll have given it to them or they'll have given it to me. Certainly explains my head cold from hell. It's not a head cold from hell. Oh, fuck that. I didn't realise they came up that quick. Wow. So with regret, boys and girls, I got fucking COVID. Uh, this is day five, or day four of, you know, after testing. It's Monday, I was ill. Tuesday, tested positive. Today's Friday. Uh, this is one of the older style kits. So let's see. I'm feeling a little bit better. <coughs> it has to be said, but not masses better. Now, some of the Flowflex kits uh, will go bang straight in on the test line. The ones I did of these yesterday and the day before, that's them. It took a second or two. Now, on the Flowflex, this would have now just been a big solid line. And so we're looking I can see the beginning of a line but it hasn't just exploded and we've got a control line coming up as well so there we go Friday still positive Right, <clears throat> day six. <coughs> I've had a strange day today. I thought I was getting worse. Um, I don't know why I'm bothering to do this. I've obviously still got COVID, but you know how it goes. Um, yeah, cough's gone a bit weird. The um, It's gone dry, but every now and then I'll bring up something that looks like it's come from a lagoon. Not a nice lagoon. Uh feeling really fucked that's not immediately come straight up as it did last time that's a good sign it might mean that I'm less virulent but um god yeah uh been in bed most of the day trying to shake it off that way we've got we have got a line coming up there that but it's not as aggressive as uh, as it was. I don't know whether whether these things you know are linear, uh, and whether different test kits have. Whoops, there we go. Different test kits have different profiles, but there is a line there. There is definitely a line there. Day eight. Feel like shit. I've been in bed since probably the last video so I know this will turn out positive based on how I feel but it's worth doing anyway I've got to have some respect for this virus it uh, it does its job well I suppose I really should try one of the, um, I can't remember what they're called now, something flex test kits instead of these. 
the basic NHS ones because that just came up immediately this is taking its time but Ooh. oh now that's interesting because unlike Tovers the controllers uh, here we go controls up and here we go it's all a bit blurry at the moment but it's coming through here we go yeah I think that's that's about to it's a bit deceiving but it's definitely positive look at that all right well this is day nine and I am trying one of the different tests uh, which I've got control line coming up oh tests coming up yeah is it I think it is I can see ya yeah here we go it didn't explode like the first few that I did, but it's definitely there, albeit faint. So there we are, whatever it is, day nine. Fuck if I can work it out. Still positive. I'm a bit fed up now. Ready for you to, ready for you to fuck off if you don't mind. Mr. Covid, yeah look, definitely, there's definitely a line there, positive, right, until next time. Day 10 boys and girls, and uh, I took this about five minutes ago, it was looking good, but now, yeah, we've got a little line against the T, so did I say day 10, I think it's day 10, it's, uh, what day is it, fuck me. Wednesday April the 13th so if we're saying Monday was day one even though I tested negative so this choose this Monday was day eight nine test day ten yeah I think we're calling that positive albeit very faint there's still a line there so with any luck tomorrow for day 11 I might be clear of this fucking thing. It is not nice. However, it's nowhere near even slightly as bad as uh, it probably would have been if I'd have got it two years ago. Um, so good. Let's see what it's like tomorrow. Welcome boys and girls, day 11 and There is a very, very faint line. I don't know, can you see? A very faint line. It is there. I'm afraid it's still there. So on day 11, Charlotte's got a faint line. I've got a fainterer. Fainterer? Fainterer line. But there is still a little bit of residual positiveness there, which is a bastard. So today, there you can see it better there, can't you? Can you? I don't know. Uh, so what's today? Thursday? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, Thursday. Tomorrow's Good Friday. And um, we're hoping to both be well enough to uh, to do some more on board. Oh, right, here we are, day 12. And I have to say, I am feeling an awful lot better. Is it day 12? I have no idea. I think it's day 12. It's Good Friday. Let's hope it's really good and I'll get a negative. Now, I don't know if I'm dropping that. Yeah, there you go. I think that's about right. One more for good measure, eh? Here we go. Now, this is the same brand of testing kit which immediately came up with a red line before it even 
wicked up to where the control line was when I did it last Tuesday, not Tuesday con, Tuesday before. Now that would have come up by now. So, fingers crossed, I'm gonna call this negative. And the way I sound is purely as a result of coughing my insides out over the last week and a bit. So uh, there we go, we've got the control line come up. It doesn't appear to be anything on the testing line, but I'm going to give it half an hour just to be sure, to be sure, because what we've got a lot to do. And it's a beautiful day outside. And as you can actually see, if I zoom in, you probably can't see how nice it is out there. But believe me, it's nice out there. So, <coughs> in the absence of a tea for testing positive, you silly bastard. Actually, you know, I'm quite pleased that I've had it. When I have, uh, when the risks of further infecting other people have been significantly reduced. Because uh, that was always my greatest fear. Not necessarily that I contract it, but I uh, pass it on. Look, I think that's definitely clear. I shall make a video of my thoughts with regard to having COVID at some point. But for now, I think that's all right. We can get on and do some work. I'm still very, very knackered. But I think that will pass. Right. Greetings, one and all, one and everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, the 19th, 5th of april and uh i'm clear i've been clear of covid now for i don't know how many days two three days something like that this is the second uh, this is a fortnight since i uh tested positive so it's all over the previous bit you know it's 12 days the 12 days of covid is done this is the first day now so this would have been day 15 16 I don't know whatever and uh, and an observation now I'm triple jabbed all that sort of stuff uh, take vitamin D all that it fucking floored me it completely fucking floored me cool uh, anyway we just had Easter yesterday was yesterday Easter Monday? Was yesterday Easter Monday, Marley? I'm probably sure yesterday was Easter Monday, if today's Tuesday after Easter. And yesterday must have been Easter Monday. And you know, I'm absolutely exhausted. I've just walked from the van to here. And I'm completely wankered. Uh, so an observation about this COVID, we were exceptionally fortunate. I'm quite glad I got it when I did get it. Whoever gave it to me, I don't really care who gave it to me. The important thing is that I didn't really have an opportunity to pass it on. Uh, good. So damage limitation. There is a sad inevitability. I think that everybody at some point will, will contract this. The Omicron variant, the BA2 stroke one, two stroke two, I can't even remember now. XE, XP, Windows 2000, all that sort of stuff, I don't know. Whatever, uh, is remarkably contagious. We were so fortunate that it's contagious without a massive payload. It's, it, I, I likened it to a really bad bout of flu. I was in bed for five, six days, I can't remember. Um, but the Omicron variant could have been completely different. It could have been... Uh, it could have, could have been uh, vaccine escaped, vaccine resistant. It could have had a much more severe payload and we'd have been back in worse than lockdown. So, and so by getting it, I suppose I've also topped up. We've got a bit of natural immunity now. Uh, as something, someone, someone said to me earlier, are you still going to wear a mask? Yes, I am still going to wear a mask. And um, 
and the reason being that I won't, won't know if I contract it again. I won't want to be passing it on to anybody else who might be uh, of less stronger stuff as I is evidently not built of. And uh, I've been reflecting a bit on that. You, you remember that Piers Corbin, Jeremy Corbin's brother? A right fucking fruitcake. But do, do you remember his uh, on the tube train singing... Wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers, and I've been thinking about that. I had a little rest, Molly. Shut your ball, Molly. Leave ball. Good boy. Wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. Do you know wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers? Wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. And I was thinking, like, in a way, he's sort of right, but wrapped up in about as wrong as you can get. The tiny little bit of right is, yeah, okay, if you do fart, then part of that smell is gonna gonna dissipate. No, no question about it. Now, here's the thing. Wearing a face covering, it stops the... Uh, what the fuck is this like? It stops the virus from travelling a long way. How bizarre, it's the inside of a quilt or pillow or something. Anyway, sorry, <clears throat> I digress. Um, and as an example of that, try putting a, a face covering on and then trying blowing out a candle it won't work no matter how hard you puff won't work so what wearing a face mask does is is limit the spread in the same way as your trousers do when you fart and just to prove that hypothesis next time you uh next time you drop one and a couple of people around you go oh blimey just try dropping your trousers and underwear and see how far it spreads then a lot further than if you kept your trousers on. And uh, and you need to be a little bit careful because you might get asked to get off the bus. But you'll see what a difference your trousers make in the dissemination of that fart. So that's why I kind of like Piers Corbin. Fuck me. A fruitcake, if ever there was one. Just don't even bother watching some of his stuff on YouTube. He's an embarrassment. But... Anyway, so that's that. So anyway, this is just a closer now. Just to say, yes, 12, my 12 days of COVID are over. I'm now back on the loose. Um, over Easter, we got a, a nice lot done to good old Mustn't Grumble, who's going in a couple of weeks. Um, but we got a lot more done than I expected. The weather was on our side. Uh, and now all I need to do is get my uh, my strength and uh, and whatever back. Um, yeah, so I haven't walked right far, but do you know, I could just sit down. I might just sit down next to Marley. Uh, so I need to increase my stamina. Any girls fancy helping? Please give me a shout. For now, this is just to round it all off to say yes. Thanks a lot, COVID, you bastard. Um, you take care, everybody, because it's uh, all right, it might not kill you, but sometimes you might wish that you were dead. It's horrible. All right, take care. Till next time. Cheers. Say goodbye, Molly. Molly. Say goodbye. No. Yeah. There you go. Goodbye.